Hi everyone, in this video we will try to understand about insertion sort. Okay, so insertion sort works on the principle that let's say uh, we'll keep on inserting an element and we'll be sorting it, right? Let's say we have an array, okay? So let's say we have, let's say an empty array right now, okay? So we insert five, okay? So we know that five itself is sorted, right? So if an array contains only one element, it itself is sorted, right? Now let's say we try to insert six, since, since we are trying to sort it in descending order, right? So we don't know the correct position, right? So we'll try to find out the correct position for this, right? So we just check with the previous element, right? So we know that array contains is of size three. Okay, so we'll just compare is six greater than five. Yes, it is. So the correct position of five, six might be over here, right? At this particular place, right? So five will be put or swapped to the next element, right? So since there is no more element, so six will be over here, right? Now let's say if we try to insert seven, Right, so we know that okay, seven is greater than five. So that means uh, the correct position of seven will be at this particular uh, index, right? So indexes, so five will be pushed over here, right? Now, so there is a vacant space over here, right? Now I check whether seven is greater than six. Uh, yes, it is. So the correct position will be on the left hand side, right? So six will be swapped over here. I will again have a empty space, right? Since there are no more elements, then the correct position of seven is over here, right? Now let's say if I try to insert again a seven value, right? If I try to insert seven again, right? So I will have I will be having a vacant space, right? Okay, so five is uh, smaller than seven, so five will come over here. Six is smaller than seven, six will come over here. Seven is same as seven, so I know the correct position is seven, right? The correct position is this particular element. I will insert seven over here, right? Okay, so let's try to look at this with the help of an example let's say we are trying to insert or sort these many elements right so what we'll do okay so we know that five is itself sorted right so two we'll actually store it inside a temporary variable right we'll store it as a temporary variable and we will check is two greater than five or not right two greater than five or not right two is not greater than five so the correct position for five uh, or, or for two is this particular element itself right so one okay we'll put our empty space Okay, we'll check why is one greater than two. It is not. So the correct position of one is over here. Right now, four comes in. Right. So four will put an empty space. Right. Four will put an empty space. Right. So now what we'll do? Right. So there is no more element over here. Okay. Let's say this is a empty space. Temporary is four. Right. So we'll check with the pre this element. Right. Is one greater than four? One is not greater than four. Right. So one will be pushed over here. Right. One will be pushed over here. Right. Then two comes in. Right. Uh, then, then, then we check with two. Right. Two is not greater than uh, four. Right. So then two will be put over here. Right. Five is greater than four. So the correct position to insert four is over here. Right. So we will end up having an array five, four, two, and one. Right. Now let's say seven comes in. Right. So there will be a vacant space. I'll check whether seven is greater than one. Yes, it is. So one will come over here. Right. Then two is greater than one. Uh, two greater than seven. Yes, it is. So two will come over here. Right, four is greater than seven. Uh, four is smaller than seven, so four will come over here. Five is smaller than seven, five will come over here. Similarly, we'll have a vacant space over here, okay, and we will insert seven over here. So the entire array that we'll be getting is five, four, two, and one, right, like this, okay. So let's try to figure out the code. Okay, let's try to figure out the code. Let's say we have an empty space, right? Okay, we have an empty space. Okay, for okay. Uh, uh, so where, from which value do we want to start with? We want to start it with the first element, right? Because we know if we're trying to insert five, right? That element itself is sorted, right? So I will write for where i is equal to one, okay? i less than arr dot length, okay? i plus plus, okay? Now what I have to do? I have to check, so I will just store that value inside a temporary variable. So temp is equal to arr of i, right? So I have stored that value inside my temporary variable. Okay. Now what I'll do, I will find out the correct position, right? So I will find out the correct position. So what I'll do, I'll just write while temp is greater than, right? While temp is greater than arr of, okay. So is greater than arr of j okay so i will have my jth value okay where j is equal to i minus 1 
ठीक है एंड वन मोर थिंग हैव टू इंश्योर ऑफ ठीक है आई आई डोंट वांट माय जेएथ वैल्यू ठीक है आई डोंट वांट माय जेएथ वैल्यू टू बी चेकिंग फॉर द लास्ट मोस्ट एलिमेंट राइट आई डोंट वांट टू चेक इट फॉर द लास्ट मोस्ट एलिमेंट राइट इफ दैट इज द केस आई वांट टू स्टॉप राइट इफ माय जेएथ एलिमेंट इज ओवर हियर दैट मींस द करेक्ट पोजीशन इज एट दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लेस राइट ठीक है सो लेट्स से व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से इज लेट्स से इफ आई एम ट्राइंग टू इंसर्ट 7 एट 5.2 राइट ठीक है so i'll check it with 2 2 will come over here i will check it with 5 5 will come over here right now if i don't want to check it with the previous element right because there is no previous element right so this is my correct place to put 7 at right this is my correct uh, place to put 7 at right so i'll put 7 over there right so i will write while j should not be less than 0 right it should not be less than 0 and temporary value should be greater than ar out of j Right? If that is the case, my value will keep on decrementing j minus one. Right? It will keep on decrementing. So it should be greater than. Right? It should be greater than. If it is less than zero, it should stop. Right? It should stop. Right? So now, what I'll do? What I'll do? So I would find out. Uh, like, so I also have to swap. Right? I also have to swap the elements. Right? So how will I swap the elements? I'll just write a r r of So I have to swap it with J plus one, right? So I will write, right? Int so var temp is equal to A R R of J, right? A R R of so, uh, so I I can just write so I have to yeah so I can write A R R of J plus one, right? A R R of J plus one is equal to A R R of J. Right, I'm just swapping the element. Right, I'm just swapping the element, and A R R of J is equal to ten. Right, I have swap swapped it, and my J value becomes the previous element. Right, so so that I can check it for the previous uh, element. Right, ठीक है. So I will keep on doing it till my temporary value is greater than A R R of J. Right, ठीक है. Now, ठीक है. So the element which I stop at, ठीक है, is my correct index. Is my correct index to put the temporary value at, right? So I will write A R R of J is equal to temporary position, right? Okay. So every time I when I run it, okay. So let's try to console dot log A R R, right? So you'll automatically see what is happening. Okay. So if I run it, okay. So let's see what is happening. Okay. So I have an array like this, okay. So five comes in. Okay. Okay. Uh, so over here, one second. A R R of J minus one. Okay. So this will be A R R. Okay. If this stops, it, okay. This will be A R R of J plus one, right? It will be A R R of J plus one, right? Uh, because if this element has not swapped, right? So I am basically basically checking the element, right? So it will be A R R of J plus one, right? So now if I run it. So if you look at, okay. So two comes in, okay. No swapping happens, right? One comes in, no swapping happens. But now when four comes in, see my array gets swapped, right? Four comes over here. Right? Four, I basically find out the correct element, right? Then seven comes in, seven is puts at over here, okay. And similarly, I'll get the correct answer, okay. So why have I written? So how is the algorithm working, okay? So let's say I have an array like this, okay. So let's take for the fourth element, right? So my ith index is over here. My ith element is over here. I am basically initializing it to. I am basically putting my temporary value as four, and my jth element starts from here, right? Jth element starts from one. I just compare. Okay, I just compare my four with j, and I just compare it my four with j. Okay, so four is greater than one, right? So four is greater than one. Then what happens? Basically, I put my Uh, one at the jth plus one index, right? So my four, okay, basically. So this is an empty space, right? This is my empty space. So one basically gets inserted over here, right? So then j is equal to j minus one, right? Okay. So similarly, two comes in, okay. So two, I know four is greater than two, so two will be inserted over here, right? Two will be inserted over here, okay. I will have, have a vacant space over here. Five is not greater than four, right? Five is not greater than four. I will stop, right? मतलब five is greater than four. Right, four is not greater than five, so I will stop. Right, and I know that the correct index, the correct index. So my j would have actually pointed over here, right? J minus j j would be pointing at five. Right, when I'm comparing four with a, a r out of j, right? Four is not greater, right? 
So I know the correct index to put my element is at j plus one, right? So I write ARR of j plus one is equal to temp, right? Is equal to temp. If you look at this, ARR of j plus one is equal to temp, right? So at the end of the array, right? At the end of the array, I would get my sorted array, right? Which is this, okay? Which is this. Okay. Similarly, if you want to sort it at descending order, also try to think how will you sort it in ascending order. So I have showed showed you the code of descending order. Also try to think how will you code it in ascending order. Right? Some minor changes only. Right? Not a lot of major changes. Just minor changes. Okay. This algorithm is very very important. Right? Because it is far more efficient than other algorithms. Right? Other algorithms of bubble sort and selection sort. Right? Uh, so I, when I teach you time complexity, you automatically understand why is the case. ठीक है सो लेट मी नो गाइस इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चंस एनी क्वेरीज इन इंस्ट्रक्शन शॉट लाइक हाउ वी आर फाइंडिंग आउट द करेक्ट पोजीशन करेक्ट इंडेक्स व्हिच द एलिमेंट शुड बी इंसर्टेड एट ठीक है इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेरीज इन दैट लेट मी नो आई विल बी मोर देन हैप्पी टू असिस्ट यू थैंक यू